We are holding now Daf Mem, Pashas Bahar. We start the previous page, the beginning of the Maimer and Pashas Bahar. Says the Maimer, it says Apostle. Look in the Pesach, it seems that right when you come to Eretz Yisrael, the Shavsa. But first you need six years. So he says, to understand this, why does the Pasik say different than it was? It should have started saying in the Pasik, when you come to Eretz Yisrael, then you'll have six years, then the Shafsa. So to understand this, we have to understand, says a Pasik in Shira Shirim, Pischili, Achesi, Rayosi. Upiroshe says, Altarebbe, what does this mean? They Bishter tells Knesset Yisrael, Pischili, open yourself up so you should be able to be a chesida yossi. Even though Knesset Yisrael is always a chesida yossi, but sometimes this level could be revealed and sometimes it could be hidden. That's why the Rebishter says, Pischi, take off the cover, the dirt, so you should be able to have the level of a chesida yossi revealed. To understand what is this level and what is the cover? What is the Chesir Ayosi? So the Al-Tarebbe brings from the Gemorim Mayitkoton that Achesi is from the word Ichui Alexandris. That's a stitch to, to, to after your rice creates to tie it together, the clothes, an Alexandri stitch that you connect two separate things together. So there is a, a, a natural love from a yid to the rebishta. But then a yid is a chelik el kamimal. And even after they were created, and they come down from ayin liyesh, and they come into a body, into a goof, and an animalistic soul, nevertheless, they still burn with a tremendous fire and desire to the rebishta. Miyum Kedaliba, and their whole life they stand in this level of Bittl because of the Tev of the Neshomet. And they don't need any his baininess to arouse that they're naturally in love with the Rebishta. Like it says, Im Zechati Chal Yitzu Aydovid Amelech says in Kapitel Kof Yutet, Bashmuri Segeboch, it's actually Kapitel Samach Gimo. I think about you at night, I dream about you, Ebishter, and you love that Ebishter, like it says in the Shema, always a constant love. And it's like a brother and a sister. Achesi is Ichui Alexandris, and also means a sister. There's a natural love of a brother and a sister. You don't need any to say to this. And this love is the love called Emes Lamite. It's an everlasting love, and nothing stops it. Sometimes this love is not Kavu in a person's heart. Only by Krishna, by davening, and then it leaves. It's not called Emes Lamite. It's called Svas Emes, like a seam around the clothes that it's not part of the actual cloth, it's just the seam around it. It's the beginning of the truth, but it's not complete truth. That's why it says in the Zoya and Pashiki Siso, Svas emes tikin lo'ad. Koinanto lo'ad lo'iksiv, the Zoya says. It doesn't say that you made it. What does it say? It says tikoin load. The poshut of pshat in zoyad is that tikoin load. That it will be when Mashiach comes. Then the Klal Yisrael will have a kiyum. But it doesn't say kenanto. Now the Jews are suffering. 
Alter Rebbe learns Pshat in Zeha. And he's also assigned to the Mikdash Melech and the Ramak. That it means that this Sfas Emes will eventually be elevated to real Emes. What's the ultimate truth? The ultimate truth is L'chela Shikru Be'emes, that you have the real Emes that's everlasting. If you from time to time have to be made in it and then it leaves you, it's not truly you. But it's called Svasemes because it's everyone does their level of truth. Like it says, Barich is in Tanya. And after the Davin, there's a Rishimu from his great love. So he has the idea of al He has some love to the Rebbe but he's, he, he, it's not full. What stops a yid from having full ava to the Rebbe Because it's enclosed in jail by the passion for physicality from the animalistic soul. And the source of this is the gas of Saruach, which is the mash the skin of the snake, which is the nefesh of Bahamas and the ego, which loves itself and loves physicality. And this love and this attachment doesn't allow your natural love to, to the Abishra to shine. And there's many different madrigas. And everyone has the gasa saruach, the, 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 the gaiva that he has to take away. Like the Gemara says in Saita, we're regarding about gaiva. that I can't live with him. Why can't he live with him? Because it's a hell of a hester on godliness. And then what you have to do, you have to uncover this love. Like a person makes a hole in the wall, you have to break the wall. You have to go into your heart with place that never shall have a broken spirit for Hashem to take off your gasu sorua, your ego, inclination, your passion for physicality to be separate from the neighbor and have a tremendous love to the neighbor And this is what the Gemara says. In Medr Shir Ashirim, peacefully Kichudisho Machad Vani Eftach Lochem, Kipiski Shalula. You have to open your door a small crack, like a needle, and I'll open it 80 feet wide, like the Heichon of Besamigdash. Because when a person wants to have Habolitahe, Messiah, and Isa Hashem helps him to bring him up to the highest level. And through this, the Ava will shine in the Pnimis Nekudis Salev, and it'll be like a flame going to the Rebishtim. And this is what it says in Zoyhat. Chelik Beis. The Ara is batolas, the physicality and the selfishness is destroyed. And Achoisi will shine, the true love to the Rebishtim will shine. So that's the level of Achoisi. Uh, then he says in Sif Beis, you could come to the level of Rayosi. What is Rayosi me, my shepherd, sort of to say? Like it says, the Chazal that Yidin Gipanosa to the Rebishter. Like it says, Lo Yidach me men, Nidach no one will be pushed away from the Rebishter. And we have to understand. How could in a Shoma, that's a Nivra, and is a Yesh and Dover with the Asmi connected to the Rebishta? And this, the Zayar tells us what helps us connect to the Rebishta. Zoya says there's three knots. The Teda connects with the Rebishta, and the connects with Teda. Because Teda is higher than the Shoma Yisrael. Because Teda comes out from Chochmah. That's why we say Ashri Misha Bolikan the Talmudib Yode. Ravashi asked the Malachamovas, give me 30 more days to Khazar over the Tera. Because the Tera helps you connect to the neighbors in Ashri Misha Bolikan. So we 
have to understand how could Teda, which is also connected with phys physical matter, like tzitzis from wool and tefillin from leather and sukkah, from vegetation and money questions and arguments of Hashem Mishpa. What does this have with spirituality? How could this connect you to Ganeid El and Ganeid Atachte? Says regarding to Tera and Mishle, Lachu Lachmu Bilachmi, go eat my bread. And when do you have a con when is bread filling for a person? When it's absorbed by a person, and you have to have the Tera should be absorbed and understood by a physical human being living on planet Earth. Then the Nishoma could connect to the Rebishte. To become one with the Rebishte. This is the diuk in the Posik. Lechu lachmu bilachmi. First, it's lachamu. It's physical matters that you're studying about, and through that lachmi, you connect to the Rebishte. And this is what it says a Posik. It says in the Gemara in Shabbos, in the seventh chapter, Tana Sidura the Pasnoka. Because in order that the bread should be fit for a person and it should connect with you, you, need, you can't just take and eat raw wheat. You have to first plant it, then grind it, and then put water, make a dough, and bake it. What are these four things, Bavidus Hashem? What happens when you put a seed in the ground? How does it grow? You cover it with earth. And then the seed becomes rough. And then the koyach the vegetation power in the earth, creates a wonderful fruit. Because koyach in the earth could make anything. But you put in an orange pit or a peach pit. That's your halos manta koyach to make something like what you put in. Because this pit was created from the Kech HaTzimeach. But it became a pit, it became lower. But it has some connection to the spiritual Kech HaTzimeach, the vegetation power and the earth. So first you need that this seed should totally become rotten. And totally bottled to Kech HaTzimeach. And then you have a wonderful growth. And he makes wonderful, wonderful fruits. If it's an apple seed, it has apple tree. If it's grapes, it has grapes. Even though in this little pit, like a bitter pit, you don't have a taste. It's like a piece of wood. But it's connected with the fruit and it's... And it has in it hidden in the potential all the wonderful tastes and smells and colors of the fruit, but it's very mitzumtze. And because it's mitzumtze, that's why it could make a wonderful tree without any symptom. Says out that ever so much a person learning Teda and serving Hashem know that the Teda is God's wisdom. But it came down very low till a pit. And this pit, let's take infantry, is ayin, comes from tache, or as Hashem said, they should be, they should be this pit. And this is what it says, the word tache, comes from the word age dos. And Eish Dos is the Teda. The Teda is also a seed. Tache is Eish Dos. But the fruit that comes is like Yashmiyayin, that it should be a wonderful fruit from a pit. Nevertheless, the fruit is wonderful. 
but this pit is nothing. Nevertheless, it brings about wonderful stuff. So is the Teda. Teda is in physical matters, and the Chais is very mitzumtzum. In Ganeid, in the alien day, the Teda is in a much higher level. Even though it's less than it is in the Chochmah and its source. When it comes the matter down here, it looks like a pit. This is what it says, When you're learning, you don't have the great Hasog and Tainer, the way it's in Ganeid. But ultimately, you make a wonderful tree Lamaila. Because this Dvaraloche is bottled to the Kechat Simeach, like the seed is bottled to the Kechat Simeach. And you have Schar Mitzvah Ganeid, a wonderful tree, and this creates the wonderful pleasures of tzaddikim in Gan Eden. They get what the tzaddikim learned down here in this world is only like a pit. But through the haloa smayim nukfin, just like the seed, you put in the peach seed or the apple seed. So you make mayim nukfin from apple, you get an apple tree. So is it true. By tzaddikim learning down here, yidin learning down here, teda, they make halo asman, and that makes a wonderful tree in Gan Eden. Just like when you put a, a, a pit in the ground, it doesn't grow till it germinates totally and becomes rotten and becomes part of the earth. So to a person when he learns Tato, if he wants to cause this vegetation to happen, he has to have total bitla most of Tato mitzvahs. Be connected with the Sviris Amalchus through Mesiris Nefesh. Like we say, beyond Chav Kidruchi, I give myself totally over to you, the neighbor said, and then Tato that he learns is absorbed in the higher world. And there's a growth of a wonderful tree in Gan Eden. So when you're learning Teda, you have to know that this is Mayim Nukfin to be aided the wonderful things by the Rebishter. And you should know that the main thing is the godliness hidden in the Teda. Like the Gimbora says in Yavom, it says, someone says, I only learned Teda, that means he doesn't realize that the Teda is only something to get much higher to the Rebishter. You have to know that this is Pnimi, Selekus, when you're learning Teda. Then his Teda is Pnimi, Mayim, Nukvin, and Bottle to the Rebishter. And he is united, and he's bottled like the seed germinates in the ground and gets bottled, same as he bottled. So I guess that's the pshat of Rayosi. Rayosi is you give panosa to the Rebbe. What does it mean you give panosa to the Rebbe? That you allow this amazing growth by your Tero Mitzvah. You are able to make wonderful things in heaven and you enjoy it later. Mashiach comes, etc. Says the Rebbe further, Sachesi is vital to the Rebbe. And Ayosi is you're learning Teda and you're giving to the Rebbe by being bottle Tasha. Says the Maima further, in order that it should be united with the Nishoma, Tfila is called Nefesh. You have to have great love by the Rebister by Nefesh, that Messias Nefesh and Bittl by Messias, which is a chrisi when you daven. 
like it says, Aposik Emil Achochma Chesiyar. Achoisi Bas Ovi says the Zoyar Bezimno the Nortlo Mi Beyabo. And then after you learn Teda with this Mesidus Nefesh, the Chochma Dikim Mesidus Nefesh. When you learn Teda, after that your Chochma, your learning is bottled to the Rebus to Chochma, which is enclosed in the Teda. And the light of the Tera is connected with light of the Shama. That's why he says that the best time to learn Tera is after davening. It should be an abyssal dekoif. This is what it says in the Gemara Ashem Ishebolikan Vitamude Biyode. First, you have to have Bolikan, which is Mesiris Nefesh, and then you accomplish something with your learning. Started saying in the Mimer, he's going to explain the four different things. Learning Tater is called Lachmi from the Rebishter. Just like by Lechem, you need the four things Chadisha, Zia, Chino, and Lisha. He doesn't explain here in this Mimer Chadisha, but it's uh, the, 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 loosening the ground, loosening the animalistic soul. It's explained in different Mimerim. Then there's a way of kind of grinding the kernels of wheat. This is the idea of leiv nishpa venitka, broken heart. Break it until it becomes flour. Shachach to memeno hodek. And it says, Gorso nafshin, you can what it is many times. Garsinon, we learn, which is connected with Rechaim Shal Grisha, is that you break, you can't be smug. You can't have an ego when you learn Teda. You don't connect to the Rebister. You make yourself further away from Hashem. Like the Gemara says about Teira, either it's a Sama Chayim or it's a Sama Moves. So you have to have the broken heart, the beetle to Hashem. Then you have to have the Lisha. Lisha is the water to make a dough. The water is to make it one dough. To be totally connected to Hashem, Moshuch Acharov Kamayim, not to be separate. And then you have to bake it. Like it says, Echisak Riv Korban Mincha Maafitano. And it's Sakriv is when you bring a Korban, but it could also be red. Tikorev, when you want to become close. And Yesh Aim Lemasoy, that's the way the Gemara says a few. If you could read it in a certain way, that's correct too. When you want to become close, it has to be ma feitano. You have to bake it. You need the fire, like it says. That he'll arouse his great love to the Rebishter. From a level of echot. Betanur echot in the greatness of Hashem, which is memali kol almin soivev kol almin and kolikem ekelach hoshi. He has tremendous desire to the neighbors. When you have this fire to quench your thirst to the neighbors through learning his data. Alter Rebbe continues, just like water and fire are separate. Water connects, fire separates. Like we know what happens when there's a fire. The water goes out in smoke. And what's left, you have the Yisait Ha'ofar. So that's the same thing the Av of Rishpeyesh is different than Av of Mayim to connect with the Rebishter. Mayim is the way you're down here and remain connected to the Rebishter. But Eish is that you want to separate from this world and connect to the Rebishter. So you have to have that burning fire. Just like if you have bread, now the Rebishter is another Mimer. If you have bread and the bread is not cooked well, then it doesn't, you eat it, it doesn't give you sustenance, it gives you stomach aches. So you need this fire.
And then the teda is a good and healthy teda, like good baked bread. No, the Peter says the Alter Rebbe in Afiyah is like it says. Yes, if saw his brother bin Yom in Nichmeru Rachamot. And Rashi says it's Michmar Bishra's got heated. He has great Rachmones. He's not called Yosef. Have to be made in Achamim on the Ben Eni. Yes, the thing evolved. You see what happened with Minas Shom, how far it went from the Rebishter. Then it says, Yo, Vayachad, Ravayif, Shomo, you cry, Bami, stored him, Tifkenafshi, in the inner crevices of his heart. He cries and he feels how bad did I go? That's the, that's the baking. A different shot. The baking is to feel how far you went. And nevertheless, after he cried, he wiped his tears. Yesaf Hatad, Vayisapi, Vayemesimulochem. Let's learn Teira. Let's lechem is Teira because you need both. Like it's brought down in the Zayar about Rabbi Eloza, the son of Rashbi. That when Ashbi revealed him secrets to the Teda of Chorvim Beis Hamikdash, he was so happy he had new secrets to Teda, but on the other hand, he was sad. But the Chorvim Beis Hamikdash, same thing is Vayove Achad Vayif Shomu. You cry inside, but then you learn Teda and it's baked Teda, and you have Bittel to the Rebister, and it's absorbed very well in your Neshama. This is what it says. Ashem Mishabolikan, the Talmud Biyode, that his Teda changed him. But without this baking, the Teda doesn't change him. And it's not sustenance because a person only lives on baked bread. But if it's not baked bread, it stays stuck in your stomach and it's not absorbed in the rest. Of your avodim, same is true. Without the baking, the teda, what he learns is one thing, and his shom is something else, and they're not connected. And it's not the Talmud The Talmud is one thing, and he is another thing. There was once a young boy of Algaivi went, into, I think, to the market of Mezich. And he told the Magid, I learned that Masechta and that Masechta. So the Magid told him, I hear what you studied. What did the Teda teach you? Meaning, were you changed? Were you more connected to the Nebuchadnezzar? So Misha Bolikan, he has Mesiris Nefesh and Bittal to the Nebuchadnezzar. Then he has the Talmud of Biyode. Says the Alter Rebbe, what is Bolikan? First, you have to have Bolikan. How do you come to the Rebbe? You gotta be made you love to the Rebbe. To be able to learn, that's why the best time to learn is after davening. Then the Teda afterwards will be on a refined level. But that's what it says, Bolikan, Vitamudi Biyode, only then is Ashrei. Says the Tzemach Tzedek. Look in the Pesach HaRini Esmarecho. And from what is explained there, you will understand Ashrei. Ashrei is Tainuk. And it's only through learning after davening. This is what it says here in the Zohar. Ato diksiv ki soveyu v'shof sohored naicho vadai. But here says the Tzemach Tzedek, the Alter Rebbe explains Mishofsa in a different manner, as we'll soon see. This is where it says, Ki you El Hore. Soveyu is the level of Bolekan when you daven. Like it says, Vo'ez Pichis Nafshi. I will daven. Pour my heart out, Asher Ani Neisin Lochem. I am giving you this desire to the Rebishter by davening because everything comes from Maila. But you have to first arouse the Milmata Sursilusato. Then they will be. Vishof Sahore. You will destroy this physicality. The Metsias. 
and this will allow you to be a Hashem. Then it says Shabbos Lashem Ba'aroiz Batola. When it, it says the Shof Soret, that's Surmira. Then the Shabbos Lashem. Then it's Vasei Tev is also with a bitli. Though you do the mitzvah with a bitli, after you accomplish Kisove El Hores, Asim Ishebolikan. If you have beetle to the Rebishter, then you take away the cover. And then there could be Sheishonim Tizra Sodech the six years, Arshisho Sidre Mishnah. And he says, the Loshen, Tizra. Tizra means what he said before in the Mayim Etiz, that means putting the seed in the ground in Chakal Tapuchin Kaddishin in Malchus. And there becomes the amazing Zia in the world of us, Bria and at Silas, and Ganeid Natsachten, and Ganeid in Hoelien. And then he says, V'shei Shonim Tizme. Tizme is the idea of learning Gimoda, which is Taimi Mishnah and the Svaris of the Taimi Mishnah. Says the Tzamach Tzedek. That's why it says first Vishofsa. Then Sheishon Im Tizra, because before learning Teda has to be Mesiris Nefesh Bitfila, with this is Vishofsa, or at Ares Batolat, he should be able to be Bolekan Vitamud Biyodi. The Bolekan needs to be through the Davani. Says that Al Terebe explain more the idea of Sheishon Im Tizmer. Because when you work in a vineyard, you have to also do Zimur to cut off the thorns that destroy the Kerem. And it's part of making it grow, like it says in Masech the Shabbos. The Zoy, me cutting off the branches, is Mishum Neiteya. The Av Meloch of Neiteya, because that's making the parents grow. Same is true by learning Talmud. Talmud is a bit of to understand Pshat. And then you have a lot of questions, and the questions fall off according to the Maskone. And even the Kosal Kondaita helps you come to a clarity in the Aloha. That's why Talmud is like wine, while Mishnah is like bread. And it says, V'yayin is Samach Levavenesh. And it says also by wine, I'm a Sameach Elikim Vanoshin. But it says, Is Yayin, the Is Yayin. Isaiah said, There's two types of wine. When you understand the Gemara, when it talks about physical matter, and you can take off the Levushim, it's Yayin, I'm a Sameach Levavenesh. But when you understand the godliness of the Teretz, Yayin, Amin, Sameach, Tim, Chaselikim. This is what it says, that Kedem Hashem's voice, Beis Yisroel. Posek tells us that Klal Yisroel, the Abish's vineyard, Apostle King Shaya. And everybody has to work the hard work in the vineyard. Cut off the thorns which are the physical midas of the Nefesh Abahamis of the Yetzir Hora. To take away the thorns, what is the thorns? Jealousy, hate, lust, passion. And then you have Shabbat Shabbos in Yielor at Shabbos Hashem. For success, three times the word Shabbos, and from each world you have to take away the evil. The Koitzim. And then you have the good shining. This is the idea of Shemitah. Bishof Sohoret. Shabbos Lashem. To have a Shabbos for the Rebister where all the Koitzim are taken away. Amazing Mimer about how our approach should be to Limudatera by refining ourselves and realizing 
what's going on is that the Tater is only a way to connect to much higher and to be bottled to the Abish in a refined way, then the Limud HaTeter accomplishes what it should accomplish. Yes, you're correct.